Good evening, class. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good you evening. Good evening. Hello. Everything great? Everything okay? Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay, excellent, amazing. So tell me, people, uh, today is our class number 15, and I was checking the platform. Some of you have had great advances, the ones who were a little bit behind. But uh, right now, I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you because we have too many things to do today and to discuss. So I am so very glad that all of you are here. Francisco Ernesto Gonzalez, Alexis Velázquez, Eliel, thank you for being here on time. Jocelyn Beatriz, Pablo, Adalberto Juárez, great to have you here. Sarita, hello, welcome again. And this is another session we're going to have, okay? So as every single day that we have been in here class, I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you, okay? Here we go. Okay, share sound and over here. Okay. Today is May 24th. Is that okay? Ah, it is loading. But now you can see my screen. And then we continue. And we have for our agenda, the video conference 15, review and practice. That is why I was telling that you're going to have a lot of practice, too many things to do today. So greetings as every day that we have been meeting. Hello, Miss Tania Osorio, thank you for joining. We're going to have a feedback on all the topics that we have been discussing. Uh, one of you is going to help me reading the objectives and we're going to continue with this task to describe activities using the present continuous because that was the highlight for the topic in this unit, the grammar topic, right? So describe activities using present continuous and at the end, your task is to describe activities using the present continuous. So uh, who is going to help me reading the objective for today's class? One volunteer, only one volunteer. Thank you, Alexis. Please go ahead. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> objectives, specific objectives. Part participants will be able to describe activities using present continuous. Class objectives. Participants will be able to talk about activities using present continuous. Thank you so much for participating, Alexis, and as uh, your partner, Alexis, Red class. Participants will be able to describe activities using present continuous. And then we have a class objective that all of you, as participants, will uh, be able at the end to talk about activities using the present continuous. And again, as a reminder class, okay, just as a reminder, because we are about to finish the course only one more week and then the class is over. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, ya lo saben, justo después de cada clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes. Es decir, que este viernes yo espero, en el mejor de las actitudes, que todo el mundo haya terminado. O el fin de semana más tardar, ¿verdad? Porque estaríamos ya terminando la próxima semana, sí. Eh, bueno, ya saben ustedes que la fecha límite para terminar el examen final es un día antes de la medianoche, es decir, que para día lunes espero yo que todos, todos hayan terminado su um, examen, ¿verdad? Final, la mayoría ya lo terminó, pero hay quienes todavía me lo deben. Consideremos que estamos en una época lluviosa, rainy season, y los problemas surgen de la nada. Cuando usted quiera trabajarlo, probablemente no se suba su eh, archivo, ¿verdad? Su trabajo, sus respuestas. Entonces, hagámoslo con tiempo suficiente para solventar cualquier situación que sea inconveniente para nosotros en ese momento. I need another volunteer to help me reading the requirements. Otro voluntario, voluntaria que me ayude a leer los requerimientos. Ok, please. Pablo, I think. Okay. Requerimiento. Requerimiento. 
nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyente, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Ok, all of these requirements are really important. Nombre completo al conectarse por su asistencia y el monitoreo por parte de Insaport y la administración. En el caso de oyentes, espero que hoy no hayan muchos oyentes, ¿verdad? Y agregar la palabra oyente, cámara encendida durante la sesión, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible y la participación activa, que es lo que siempre tenemos por parte de cada uno de ustedes como participantes. Recordemos las asistencias, se espera que sea al 100%, si por alguna razón tenemos corte de energía eléctrica, problemas con la conexión a internet, entonces debemos uh, ingresar nuevamente porque acá está la clase abierta, ¿verdad? Para recibirles. Lo ideal son 120 minutos de la clase, es decir, desde el principio hasta el final. Y tomamos la asistencia en dos ocasiones y se toma como válida al escuchar cuando usted con su voz dice presente, present teacher, present here or here I am y la cámara encendida. Al final uno de ustedes se quedará conmigo para eh, repasar o clarificar alguna duda o tener alguna práctica de lectura. Los permisos no están disponibles, ya saben, yo no les puedo dar permiso ni la administración. Solamente se toma nota de por qué usted está ausente y se reporta en SAFOP, ¿sí? Y acá tenemos ya, estamos en 24 de mayo, terminando la, hoy espero terminar la semana 3, sección 3, e iniciamos mañana con la 4, ¿verdad? Entonces, con el feedback, let's recall the structure for the present continuous. The subject, the auxiliary verb B, according to the subject, and the verb must be in ING. This is what we have been studying class. And as a feedback, let's remember how to use the present continuous with WH questions. Para hacer preguntas solicitando información específica, utilizamos este grupo de palabras. How, when, where, why, which, who, how, or what time, que no está acá, pero se podría utilizar. Y la estructura es, First, the WH question word. Primero la palabra con WH. Luego el verbo to be. El verbo principal, ya dijimos, debe ir en su base normal, pero le agregamos ING, el complemento, y al final el signo de interrogación, de lo contrario, está incorrecta. Si no agregamos el signo de interrogación. ¿Qué más tenemos acá? Recuerdan, estuvimos construyendo questions, ¿ok? Estuvimos construyendo oraciones con WH question, pidiéndole a sus compañeros información y escribieron ustedes la respuesta de los compañeros. También trabajamos esto. What events are taking place at your workplace these days? ¿Cuáles son los eventos que se estarán desarrollando, que se van a desarrollar en estos días? Where are the events taking place? ¿Dónde se van a desarrollar? And who is organizing them? ¿Quién los está organizando? ¿Quién organiza los eventos en su lugar de trabajo? And this is the conversation we were practicing, okay, between Rita and Luis. And also, uh, what are temporary event activities you are doing at your workplace these days? Las actividades temporales que ustedes están realizando y que van a realizar en estos días de acuerdo a su programación, a su agenda. And what about your coworkers? Si usted está haciendo determinadas actividades, ¿cuáles son las otras actividades asignadas a los compañeros? Uh, you were discussing these questions, okay? If you remember, you were discussing these questions in the breakout rooms. Is that correct? Sí, se recuerdan. Yes, teacher. Okay. And here we have the conversation between Ever and Beth. Correct. Y acá sí le voy a pedir la colaboración a dos participantes que me ayuden a, a leer para recordar. Ok. Who wants to? Ok, you are ever. And who is going to read Beth? ¿Quién va a leer Beth? Fátima. Ok, Fátima. Let's begin. Here we go. Ok. Hi, Beth. 
Long time not see. Who are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I'm okay. Well, I'm working on a new project and also I'm taking an English course this day. Who about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. Um, I'm also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know. A colleague who completed, completed the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I, I am reading novels to have better results. <clears throat> Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Great, thank you so much. Two more participants to practice this conversation as feedback of what you did yesterday. Alexis, you read Ever. Who's going to read Beth? Quien va a leer Beth? Hello, do I have more participants here? Let me, me see. Can. Okay, Miss Jocelyn, go ahead, please begin. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What, I, what are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a, what a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English in is, is essential at the workplace this day. I know. A college who completed the course I, is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am a student on my own. You, you know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Excellent. Very well done. Congrats. The only thing is that here, I know a colleague, colleague, the stress goes at the beginning in the first syllable. Colleague, a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. Yeah. And if you remember class also, you uh, made this conversation personal because you were working in the creation of your conversation according to the activities and projects that you are um, developing in your companies. Is that correct? ¿Se recuerdan que crearon su conversación? I share. Y la practicamos en el main session room. Yes, excellent. Very well. So here we go. continue. And you were also discussing and answering these questions. What are some of the things Ever and Beth uh, doing these days? And what things do you have in common with the people in the conversation? And do you remember the answer for number two? What are the things you have in common with the people in the conversations? Yes, taking course in English. Great. You are taking an English course. Excellent. Very well. And now, class, here, let's go over page 34. Okay. In our manual. Please. Okay. Here. Let me see. Okay. 34. Hold it. At 34. Uh, this is quite an interesting class because you have in here a reading. You are going to practice reading a lot today. Reading. Let's read this article about activities to keep employees happy. Discuss if the sentences below are true or false and correct the false ones. Ustedes saben que en las compañías um, 
se realizan algunos eventos para que los empleados estén siempre felices, estén tranquilos, estén desestresados, ¿verdad? Ayer alguien comentaba en uno de los breakout rooms que una de las actividades que están por realizar en estos días es a training. And she said, but it is not a real training because it's going to be outdoors, out of the office, and we're going to be developing and carrying out some activities like dynamics, interacting, all the employees of the company. Entonces, eh, muchos, todos los empleados de la compañía, comentaba ayer una de sus compañeras, va a participar en un evento que se va a realizar fuera de su puesto de trabajo, pero todos están involucrados. Es un training que van a tener, pero es eh, un training de interacción entre los empleados para socializar. Entonces, esa es una de las actividades que se realizan en muchas compañías para eh, tener felices a los empleados, desestresarse con solo compartir fuera de la oficina, probablemente para algunos ya es mucho. Entonces, veamos esto acá. Estas son algunas de las actividades que algunas compañías realizan. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain, function and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? One more time. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate the stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function and lift mood what bus wouldn't want those outcomes this is the first activity now celebrate the birthdays you don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact it shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, to sign the card. Have a cake once a month, or simply buy them around a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Number three, paint boy. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out, though, as the boss, you are going to be a prime target. Now, guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. So we have here for activities that people usually uh, carry out in the offices. Organize yoga classes, celebrate birthday, paintballs, guess who, okay? So we're going to be discussing these activities and the ones that you have at your companies. Uh, maybe in your company you don't practice uh, doing yoga, but what about exercising? Do you have a, a gym at your workplace? Do you have a gym at your workplace? Yes or no? 
No. No, you don't. Um, in our country, in many call centers, they have a gym. So the employees can go and exercise for a while when they have a time off because to be sitting for more than 10 hours on a chair is a little bit, you know, not so easy. So we're going to go over that. But first, right now, I'm going to call your name so I can take your first attendance. Here we go. Alexis, Brandon Alexis. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia. She's absent. Cecilia Eunice is absent. Daniel Eduardo is absent too. Diana Michelle. Diana, oh, Diana Michelle Erica is there. But Diana, I don't see her. She's absent. But Diana is here. No, I don't see Diana. Hmm, she's absent. Erica. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Miss Erica. Fanny. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Fanny. Fatima. Martinez Denny. I hear. Great. Francisco Antonio Correa Simede. Are you here, Francisco? Francisco Antonio. Good evening, Miss. Perdón, venía ah, el tráfico. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, but you're here. Francisco Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Jocelyn. Josie. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Eliel Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Francisco Mejia Salguero. No, today he's absent. Josue Isaac. Present teacher. Thank you, Josue Isaac. Luis Benjamin absent, Mayra. Mayra is absent. Oscar Daniel. Present teacher. Ah, okay, great, thank you. Pablo. Present teacher. Sarita. Present miss. Thank you. Tania. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Tania. Teresa de Jesús. Teresa. Present teacher. Thank you, Teresa. Sochil. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Sochil. Tulio. He's sick, but he is as a listener. Okay, class. So what are you going to do right now? Teacher present. Recién me acabo de conectar. Cecilia Unidos. Okay, Ceci. Yeah, because you are the first ones in the list. Thank you for reporting, Ceci. Now, class, I'm going to let you know again. In your manual, okay, we are here at page 34. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can practice. All the participants in the team are going to read the four paragraphs. And later, you are going to discuss if these sentences, according to the information you have in here, are true or false. Is that okay? Now, I need one volunteer to help me reading number one, organize yoga classes. Who's going to read that for the class? Thank you, Alexis. Okay, teacher. The first paragraph. Yes? Yeah, the first one. Organize yoga class. If you work in an office and your employers 
are sitting at computers every day. Then when there's teammate, the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help, uh, I don't know, I uh, visit. Alleviate. Alleviate the stress. Can then mean real tension, improve brain function and lift mood. What boss would want those outcomes? Thank you for participating now. I need someone else to help me read in the information about celebrate the birthdays. Me teacher. Okay, please, uh, Eliel. Uh, celebrate birthdays. Uh, you don't just have to, it's really, really. Rely. Okay, uh, we'll be comenzar. You don't just have to rely on business game to boost moral. Morale. Morale, okay. Simply acknowledging a special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Employees, pardon. Get everyone to sing a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round. A round no? No, a round no? Uh -huh. Coffee each time someone in your team has a birthday. Excellent. Very well. Now, number three, paintball. Who is going to help us reading about paintball? Hello, one volunteer. No volunteers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me too. Okay, let me see. Who is volunteering? Quien, quien, uh, Oscar. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Paintball. Give your employers an opportunity to live of some esteem by organizing a day of, pain, of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for the staff morally. Wash out down as the bus, uh, you're going to be a prime target. Very well. And guess who? Who is going to help us reading guess who? One volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss Fatima. Ask everyone to bring a shy. Childhood. Childhood. Four of, of themselves and yes. put them out up on board. And then get, get everyone to put their best guess, guesses. Forward, guesses forward on each, each one. It's a bit of easy light. Hearted. Um, like hearted. hearted. Hearted phone that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plen plenty of humor along the way. Very well. Great. And uh, you're going to read the same as they read. Maybe if there are four people in the team, okay. Uh, paragraph number one, let's imagine Fatima, number two, Oscar, number three, Pablo, and number four, um, Josue, to tell you an example. The second chance, you are going to read a different paragraph, or you may take turns and read all the paragraphs at once, and then you wait for the other partner to take his turn, okay? But the idea is that all of you read the four paragraphs, each one in each team, and later, when you are aware of what each paragraph says, you go over the reading comprehension. And the instruction is 
discuss if the sentences below are true or false. And if the sentence is false, you have to correct it. You need to write the correct sentence. Remember class, we are uh, in this review at page 34, yeah? Now I'm going to ask you to join. Hello, Diana, welcome to join to the uh, different teams. Okay, so right now, here we go. Okay, let me see because I have uh, two, three. Ah, okay, but Tulio is as a listener. Okay, class, join your groups. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Here we go. Go to your groups, please. And begin reading and analyzing the sentences. Okay, Teresa de Jesus, go to your group. Sarita, go to your group. Oscar, go to your group. And Tulio, okay, join your groups, please. Okay. Eh, Teresa está de oyente. Así que eh, entre nosotros tres, Fátima, Pablo y yo. Va, bueno, está bien. Perfecto. Entonces, eh, si gusta, empiezo yo y ya sigue. No sé si. Ok. Si, o Fátima. Va, bueno, después. Si me... ¿Cómo? Después de ti voy yo, te digo. Perfecto, eh, no sé, don Pablo, creo que ha ah, acabado, gracias don Pablo, Le agradezco mucho. Eh, organize... Intención, <laughs> organize yoga classes. Okay. Sí, classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't understand... The impact yoga could don't, have to... Sorry for the interruption. Don't underestimate. Don't underestimate. Oh, okay. Don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude. I don't know. Attitude, creo que era. And outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress Calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss will don't want those outcomes? Fatima. Okay, okay. You don't, you don't just have to really, really on business games to boss moral, no sé cómo se dice. Rely, rely on business. Rely morale. on business game. Morale, morale, okay. Morale. Okay, voy a comenzar de nuevo. You don't just have to really on business games. Rely. Rely. You don't just have to rely on business game to boss morale. Simple. <laughs> Ac Acno no sé cómo se acknowledging, acknowledging. 
acknowledging a special occasion can can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them. As people, not just as employees, get everyone to sing a car, have cake one a month, or simple buy them around. Sign, sign a card because sing is la 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 sing singer. I am singing la 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 sign oh. firmar sign okay. So. Okay, Pimbal. Give your employees an opportunity to live out. Some steam be organized as they often go. Simply getting out of the office can work under to start morally. What's how those of the bar George going to be our prime target? Guess who? Ask everyone to write a choice hold photo themselves and put them ad hoc on the wall and they get everyone to put their best guess forward on age one. It is a bit of age life. I tell how say see yeah life healthy. Healthy like healthy heart lighted heart lighted heart lighted heart lighted are light hearted. Mm -hmm. Light hearted on that well definitely help with the spirit while offering plenty of humor all in the way. Buenísimo, buenísimo. Mm -hmm. eh... Ahora que todos teníamos que leer eh, cada párrafo, ¿verdad? Así que no sí. sé si. Don Pablo comienza ahora y el que lea Paintball va a leer los últimos dos. Ok, organice su clase. En la lectura, special occasion are not important. True or false? ¿Qué opinan? Basado en lo leído, la ocasión. Dice que es de gran impacto. La... Ajá. No, Después, dice las ocasiones especiales son, ajá. no son importantes. Sí, en, basado en la lectura. Class, I'm sorry for the interruption. Did you all practice reading the four paragraphs? Todos leyeron ya los cuatro párrafos en voz alta. Yes. Ah, yes, okay, teacher. Great, Nos okay. dividimos uno cada uno. No, todos lo tienen bien. que leer todo, todo. Es decir, ah, okay. es decir, Erika leyó párrafo uno, dos, tres y cuatro. No. No, ok. Ah, contesten, con, no, contesten, contesten y luego siguen con la práctica de la lectura, porque la idea es okay. que todos practiquen leyendo el vocabulario, ok. Si Erika okay. ya leyó el párrafo 1, okay. entonces okay. le toca después el 2 y de ahí el 3 y así, ok. Ok, continúe. Ok. okay. Uh, Nos quedamos en la pregunta 3. You work in an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day. Don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Uh, alleviate, 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 alleviate stress, calm the mind, real tension, improve brain functions, and live more 
what boss will want those out, outcomes? Está, está más difícil esas palabras. Bueno, entonces, that, 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 is, that is why you need to practice the four paragraphs, ¿ok? okay. Para, para familiarizarse con la pronunciación del vocabulario. Ok, okay continue. Eleven things per day. They don't just have really um. Eh, perdón, voy a iniciar nuevamente. They don't just have to rely on business game. To both morally, simply up, at no length in a special occasion can have a big impact. Each of your things that you care about saying is stupid. Not just this employee, get ever young, everyone to learn the same car. Have tape once a month or simply buy thin uh, round of coffee, thin some, someone in your thing as a birthday. Paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work. Hello class. Did all of you uh, read the four paragraphs? Ya leyeron todos los cuatro párrafos. Hola. Hola, teacher. No. Todos leyeron Hola. ya los cuatro párrafos. No. Ok, recuerden que todos deben de leer párrafo. Yes, uno, but... Párrafo dos, tres y cuatro. Yes, pero no, nadie contesta. Ah, solo José y, y usted. ¿Y las otras chicas? ¿Qué pasó con...? con... Hola, hola. Yo se le he estado oyente. Yo se le he estado oyente. Yo se le he oyente. Pero no sé si va a participar. Ajá, eh, pero, pero, pero yo sé si... compartí la pantalla al inicio, pero nadie contestó. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que a mí me sacó y después me ah, metió. Ah, sí, es cierto. Usted estaba con uh -huh. problemas de internet. Eh, sí. Vaya, entonces, ¿y José está por acá? Hola, José. Bien, entonces, eh, practiquen la lectura, Alexis y Cecilia. Ok. Permítanme, quiero ver si Josué está por acá. Josué se supone que aquí está. Tiene que practicar, ¿verdad? Tiene que practicar la lectura a los cuatro y luego hacer el ejercicio de las oraciones. Si están correctas y las incorrectas, las corrigen, ¿ok? Ok. Let's participate. Teacher, estamos saliendo del trabajo. Por eso, pero eh, puede participar en la lectura o no, todavía no. No, no. Ay, va manejando. Aún. Ok, no se va a ir a matar. Entonces, Cecilia y Alexis. Ok. Intercámbiense. Ok, ¿quién I'm va sorry. a leer el párrafo 1? Okay. Uh, ok, go ahead. Ok. If you work in an office and you employees are sitting at computers every day, don't understand the impact yoga could have on their attitude on outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, relax tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss would want those outcomes? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, Cecilia, okay. paragraph two. Okay, celebrate birthday. You don't just have to rely on business games to but moral. Simply acknowledging special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about team as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sing a car, have cake once a month, or simple buy them a round 
of coffee each time someone in your team has a birthday. Okay. Now, number three, painful, Alexis. Okay, painful. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some uh, steam by organizing a day of payment. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for the staff. Uh, uh, morality watch out tone. As the boss, you're going to, to be a prime target. Okay, guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them up, up uh, on a bird and to get everyone to put their best get forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, like hand life can I don't know like um like them get everyone to put their best guesses forward for each one it's a bit of easy light-hearted okay light-hearted um that will definitely help like spirits we are offering plenty plenty of Humor along the way. Okay, now Fatima is going to read number one, Alexis number two, Fatima three, and Alexis four. Okay. I am sorry, I'm not saying I'm not in the other group. Cecilia, I'm sorry for the, you know, for the mistake. Ceci, you read number one, number three. And your partner, Alexis, okay. is going to read number two and number four. I know. I'm crazy with my students. Okay. okay. Let's begin, Cecilia. Okay. Organize yoga class. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at a computer every day, don't understand the impact yoga clothes have on their attitude and Outlook yoga can help alleviate stress, kill the mind, release, relax, tension, improve brain function, and like mold what was want one to outcomes, 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 creo que es outcomes. Okay, celebrate birthday. You don't just have to really on use this game to put moral. Simply acknowledge. How do you say? You say it. Acknowledging. Okay. You don't just have to really um, use using this game to put moral. Simply acknowledge the special occasion can have a big impact. It show your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees, get everyone to see a card, have a cake once a month, or simply buy them around. Le faltó coffee. Around of coffee. The second part, Alexis. Over here. Uh, a round of coffees. Simply a round, a round of coffees. It's time some if your team has a birthday. Sorry. Okay, painful. Guide your employees an opportunity to leave off some steam by organizing a day of painful. Simply getting uh, out of the office can work wonders for staff moral watch out don't no I don't know tools watch of do 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 
Yes. Ask the boss you're going to be a prime target. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses. Forward on each one, it's a bit of easy. Like hearted fun that will definitely help life spirit while offering plenty of humor along the way. Now you now you read the sentences and you determine if according to this information they are true or false. If the sentence is false, you have to write it in the correct way. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, go over that, okay. please. Okay. Number one. Did you finish the practice, people? Finish. Yes, the finish. Okay. I'm going to ask uh, over here. Let's see. Miss Sarita, please read the uh, paragraph number one. Okay. Organizes yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting and computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and with luck. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve the brain function and live more. What does one one does of the comments? Okay, outcomes. 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 <laughs> okay, here. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office, in an office, and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain, improve brain function, and lift mood. What bus wouldn't want those outcomes? Okay. Did you answer the, the uh... sentence? Hello, did you answer the sentences? If they are true or false, yes. Yes. You did it? Okay. Yes. So then let's return to the main session room. Uh, Tulio is a listener today because he continues sick. But Oscar is okay. Did he read the paragraphs? Okay. Oscar two. leyó los párrafos. Two? Yes. Los cuatro párrafos. Um, no, porque solamente nos tornamos uno cada uno. Es que tienen que leer los cuatro párrafos cada uno para que practiquen el vocabulario, porque el vocabulario es diferente en cada párrafo, ¿verdad? A mí, o sea, que eran los cuatro uno. párrafos cada y el quien siguiente... se... Así es. es que leímos un párrafo Francisco, un párrafo no, yo, no, el otro no. No, porque entonces um, usted no tiene la oportunidad de practicar el vocabulario que está en los otros párrafos, ¿de acuerdo? Uh -huh. mm, mm. Vaya, entonces vamos a escuchar a Oscar. Yo le comparto a Oscar y usted me lee paragraph number two. Ok. Ok. El celebrate, celebrate a birthday. You don't just have a really um but to rely on rely on to rely to rely on business games uh, to bus moral morally 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 Moral. simply uh act on act on leading acknowledging 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 a special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card. How to can sign, you... sign a card? 
sign a card, how can once a month or simply buy them around? A round of coffees. A round of coffees. Of cookies each time someone in your team has a birthday. Very well. Okay. Um, Francisco, painful. Okay, Miss uh, Paymark. Give your employees an opportunity. To opportunity, let, opportunity. Opportunity to let off some teams. Steam, steam, steam. Teams. No, order. teams, no, teams, no, steam, porque es estima. Uh, steam, uh -huh. organizing uh, the of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff. Morale, watch out, touch, uh, no, touch, no, do, 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 oh, do, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Okay, thank you. Sarita, number four, guess who? Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a shield hold. Childhood, photo, childhood, childhood photo of themselves, 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 and put them all up on a board, and and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward. On each one is a bit of easy light, light hearted from that will defin defini no sé. definitely, definitely, definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. While offering plenty of humor, humor along humor. the way, humor along the way, humor. Okay, so now, now that you have the answers, we're going to get back to the main session room. Okay, let's get back. Let's wait a couple of seconds while the others return. In 10 seconds, everybody must be back. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we have the same answers. Okay. Okay, class, what do you think? Number one, yoga has an important effect on employees. Is it true or false? True. 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 Okay, true. so you tell me that it is true. I know quien está usando mi... mi 
porque no me dejan trabajar. Ay, entonces, usted, entonces ustedes la marcan, porque si no, no me dejan trabajar y me, me distorsiona cuando yo les quiero compartir. Ok, number two, yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. Is false. it true or false? False. false. Ok, false. it is false. false because it releases tension and as a consequence, it calms the mind. Now, number three, mm -hmm. based on the reading, special occasions are not important. Is it true or false? False. False, false because it is the opposite. Now, Uh, what should be the correct sentence? Uh, maybe Or, simply acknowledging special occasionally can have a big impact. Okay. And because you have to write it in the correct way. So say it again, simply. Simply acknowledging. No sé cómo se dice esa palabra. Acknowledging. 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 Uh -huh. Special yes. occasions can have a big impact. Okay. Can have we can have a big impact. Why? Because it means a lot for employees. They feel that they are not machines. Yes. Yes. Now number four, workers mm -hmm. can play paintball inside the office. True or false? Oh. Inside the office, no. Otherwise, it's going to be a chaos, a disaster, because they, they, <laughs> they paint everywhere. <laughs> and remember, it is um, uh, it is like uh, if you are in a work field, yeah, in a work field that you need to cover and this and that because you kill people with paint. And so it is false. Now, number five, childhood photos can offend employees. Is false. 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 false, okay, because it is uh, the guess who. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, seen your pictures when you were little children and you see one of your classmates or your friends' uh, photos when they were little children. In some cases, they have some features, some characteristics that are similar. Now they are grown up, that they are adults. But in some other cases, they look absolutely different, yeah? En algunos casos, cuando vemos las fotos de otras personas o de algunos compañeros o incluso las suyas, eh, cuando eran pequeñitos, bebés o one or two years old, three years old, son totalmente diferentes, ¿sí? sí a veces teníamos el pelo como más claro, ahora ya lo tenemos más oscuro, ¿sí? El color de los ojos, eh, muchas personas lo tienen azules y luego les cambian a verde, a verde, ¿sí? Entonces esos son cambios y a veces no, no adivinamos quién es, por eso el nombre de la temática es Guess Who, adivina quién, ¿sí? Ok, ¿alguien iba a comentar algo? ¿Quién iba a comentar algo? Escuché que alguien decía, teacher. No, nadie. Entonces, yo les pregunto, clase, todas esas actividades, ¿cuáles son las que ustedes practican en su lugar de trabajo? Eh, ajá, ¿cuáles de esas usan sus empleadores para que ustedes estén felices? This is stress. You always have a happy smile. Ah, Alexis, no. Ok. Maybe celebrate our birthday. Ah, celebrate birthdays. In some companies they celebrate birthdays. Eh, pero en algunas ocasiones eh, they cut the cake, cut the cake, parten el pastel at the beginning of the month at the end of the months or every two months o cada dos meses lo hacen en alguna compañía, ¿sí? To save some money. But at least they do it or they just uh, decorate your, your space o solo decoran su espacio el día del cumpleaños, ¿verdad? En otras compañías le dan el día libre. You have your day off. Yes or no? And obviously they pay that day. Pero eso es in relation to the birthdays. 
pero alguna otra actividad que realizan como para socializar, interactuar, no. Bueno, no me lo van a decir a mí, se lo van a decir a sus compañeros en el breakout rooms. Yes, which activities, maybe not in this employee, I mean in this company, but in the previous one, tal vez no en este empleo en el que están, pero tal vez en las anteriores si ya han tenido alguna otra actividad. Or maybe to celebrate Halloween in some call centers, ya yeah, en algunos call centers, or celebrate the Mother's Day, or whatever, ya. Yeah. Uh, the Father's Day is coming, right? But it is going to be on Saturday, unfortunately, to some of us. Para algunos va a ser desafortunado porque va a ser sábado, pero lo celebran antes o después, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms in such a way that you are going to interact. Y van a compartir cómo celebran y cómo algunas actividades que hacen, por ejemplo, um, al mediodía. Uh, if they have a psychologist and they give you some therapy, uh, group therapy in order to relax, to get this stress, to say goodbye to the stress. Y en algunas ocasiones en esas sesiones alguien se ha quedado dormido porque estaba demasiado estresado. ¿Sí? Okay, that is what you're going to discuss right now in five minutes. Van a discutir cuáles son las actividades que hacen en su compañía o en otra compañía que han trabajado para que ustedes estén en mejor spirit, ¿okay? con mejor ánimo. Entonces nos vamos a los breakout rooms. In five minutes and later we discuss, ¿ok? But here, let me see. Porque hay unos grupos donde hay demasiados oyentes y entonces solo tengo un participante y así no se puede, ¿ok? Join your groups, please. And share. Sharing time, speaking, only speaking time. Go to your groups and discuss. Okay, go to your groups class, please. Okay, in this group, do we have people available to participate? Tenemos gente disponible en este equipo para participar. Oscar, Sarita, and Francisco, okay? And uh, I don't know, Fanny. She is at work, I think. She is working. Uh, so, Francisco, Sarita, and Oscar share. Compartan sus experiencias en este trabajo que tienen actualmente o en alguno anterior probablemente, ¿ok? And how it made you feel. ¿Cómo les hizo sentir? Ajá, es que... Ah, ok, las preguntas. Bueno, entonces, una, una nada más de, de alguien, pues sí, porque en las empresas donde he trabajado no, no hay ese tipo de. Yo les comenté, solo voy a, Habló, a ver, formularla. Allí en, en todo es por salva, se hacen torneitos de fútbol o no. Eh, también en American Park se hacen, pero lo suspendieron porque estaban saliendo muchos quebrados. <risa> <risa> Muchas incapacidades daba ese cosa. Sí, muchos quebrados había. Partido que había quebrado, que salía, pues entonces. Ya. Yeah, pues yeah. los torneos. Ay, qué challenge. No, pero sí, me acuerdo que ya sí. Había. Había torneitos de fútbol. Ahí en la empresa eh, hay torneos de fútbol, pero. Eh, no sé si van a hacer este año, la verdad. Por lo mismo. Eh, se celebró eh, 
celebraron una, una reunión anual de donde se participaron en, en básquetbol, en fútbol. Ah. En, un, en una, una tarde, para un convivio, para, para, para nos formaron equipos y participaron. Sí, igual ah, que nosotros okay. hacen, pero solo para los niños, para los niños. Solo no los, los, los compañeros. Ah, no, aquí lo hicieron para, para todos. Pero ahí para es, todos. Más, es mejor porque hay más juegos. En cambio, nosotros solo, solo fútbol, solo eso juegan, ¿verdad? Sí, chicos. Y los chicos, nosotras no. Ah, no, y aquí sí vieron básquetbol y fútbol. Porque no todas no todo la, las chicas juegan, mis. Uh -huh. <ríe> I'm sorry. Uh, only two or three girls por team. <ríe> oh, como mucho. No, porque creo que solo una o dos. Bueno, en nuestro team creo que sí jugamos varios. Ah, también eh, las actividades. Nosotros también celebramos los cumpleaños, pero eso de nosotros, los del team. Y eh, la persona que cumple. Day off. No está en el día libre. ¿No está en el día libre? Yes. Ah, qué bien. A nosotros por la tarde. Nosotros se nos dan el día libre y decoran el cubículo. Ahí también. Hello. Lo que sucede es que Alexis se quedó sin internet. Acaba de reingresar, mi Cecilia, ah, para que participen. Ah, okay, sí, porque okay. ahorita creo que los otros dos son oyentes. Uh -huh. ah, pero ya está acá Alexis. Hello, Alexis Velázquez. Hello, hello. Sorry. Acá está ya con Ceci para que compartan las actividades en el trabajo de celebraciones okay. o algo para okay, Alexis. Ajá. Ok. En my my work no celebration <laughs> but... <laughs> okay uh, uh, okay ni en ningún anterior uh... Uh, sí en el anterior por ejemplo for example uh, when i work in mcdonald's i celebrate the 21 de october día de las brujas Ah, oh, ok. Es Halloween. Ya... Halloween. Halloween, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. I celebrate Halloween. And sí. let me see. And I celebrate and the, the Mother's Day, the Father's Day. And uh, celebrate, how do you say, Día del, del mm, Niño Especial? Ah. Uh... But you say the special child, for example. Pero es que son los niños especiales o el niño down. El que es el niño down. Ah, okay. Sí, porque hay uno especial para el niño down, hay otros para los de autistas y así, verdad? Ah, niño down. Yes. Ah, down children, down children's day, down children's day. Okay, I celebrate down children's day. Because I have partners down. And that's it. And what about you, Cecilia? Okay. Uh, and my company organized uh, the birthday uh, of the month. Uh, Valentine Day, Mother Day, and all the festivities. Uh, Christmas, Christmas dinner, and soccer. Tor, no sé, I don't know. Soccer tournament, tournament. Eh, como torneo. Yes, yeah, como soccer otros. tournament. Soccer tournament. Okay, soccer tournament. Um, um, the bed como que es el premio al mejor vendedor, como eh, the, be Ajá. The, best, the Best Seller Day o The Best Seller Award. 
¿ya? Ah, ok. Best okay. seller. Uh -huh. Sí, es yes. yes. eh, eh, Solo. Creería yo. Okay. El momento solo es. No, but that is good, yeah, you know, because you have a, as the best seller, a reward. Excellent. Okay, class, thank you. Now let's return to the main session room, okay? So we can continue. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the other partners. All of them must be back in 20 seconds. Everybody back? Yes. Okay. So now here, schedule events at the workplace. This is at page 38. How to use present continuous for temporary situations. We use the present continuous for temporary situations and the expressions these days, estos días, and at the moment are often used. Okay are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Estas dos frases, these days, estos días, por el momento o en este momento, usualmente se usan o con frecuencia se usan para enfatizar el aspecto temporal de la actividad. Examples, I am reading a new book these days. I am reading... These days. Eh, eh, estoy leyendo un nuevo libro estos días, pero en este momento no lo estoy leyendo. Pero es una actividad continua. No he terminado de leer el libro aún. Por eso digo, I am reading a new book these days. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book one day. But not yet, pero aún no ha terminado. Number two, Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. The meeting will finish sooner or later. Wendy está en una reunión en este momento. Está asistiendo, está teniendo una reunión en este momento. La reunión aún no finaliza. Va a terminar más tarde que temprano o más temprano que tarde. Pero aún está en progreso, en desarrollo. Number three. We are taking an English course. The course will end when, hopefully, on May 31st. El 31 de mayo va a terminar nuestro curso. Entonces nosotros decimos, we are taking an English course uh, module 2. El módulo 2. Lo estamos tomando porque aún no termina. Están tomando la clase en este momento y el curso aún no termina. ¿De acuerdo? Now you are going to role play a chit chat conversation about the temporary activities you and two other colleagues are doing these days. You share the role play uh, with the class. Vamos a crear una conversación sobre eh, las actividades que se están llevando a cabo en nuestros puestos de trabajo. Serían um, temporary activities you and two other colleagues are doing these days. Obviously, you work in different companies. Trabajan en diferentes compañías, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a tomar como base la que trabajamos ayer. Pero, fíjense bien, 
eh, acá ayer solamente cambiamos la actividad y lo más lo dejamos, ¿verdad? Eh, ya tienen ustedes antecedente, pero acá otras actividades más específicas podemos incluir algunas de las temporary activities celebrating the birthdays, the birthdays, porque van a celebrar los cumpleaños, me imagino, en la mayoría de compañías, así como lo estaban compartiendo. ¿Qué otra actividad van a tener en estos días? Celebrating the Father's Day. Yes or no? ¿No van a celebrar el Father's Day en la compañía? Yes. El Pablo Berizal says no. No, no, no necesariamente no. el propio día porque es weekend. Pero antes o después una tarjetita, un saludo que les hagan llegar, no. Nada, teacher. Yes. Nada. Bueno, entonces el día del padre no, pero otro día que hayan celebrado o vayan a celebrar en junio. No hacen, no hacen. Y en mayo. Y el nada? maestro. Cumpleañero. Ajá, only birthdays and what else? Uh, the Mother's Day, incluyan el Mother's Day porque todavía hay uh, some, uh, some discounts and many things. En, alguna, en algunos lugares todavía están celebrando el Día de la Madre, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Entonces, eh, en, en my company celebrate the, the Memorial Day um, on Monday. Memorial Day. Ok, great, excellent. So you see, depending on the company that you work for, you can create the conversation, ok? Or making up, imagínese, eh, alguien, eh, are, are you taking a seminar? ¿Van a tomar algún seminario que no sea el de inglés? Sí? Ok. Or use your imagination, what you would like to participate in. ¿En qué actividad le gustaría participar? Maybe paintball or... Um, a soccer, uh, a soccer tournament, a basketball tournament, something like that, or a dancing tournament, a yoga, a yoga training, something like that. Yes, you use your imagination. Are we clear? Si ¿Sí comprendimos? Sí. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Okay. Be creative. Sean creativos y todos participando. I'm going to ask you to go to your groups. Okay, join your groups, please. Tania. Tania, I'm sending you the invitation. Erika, Francisco, Tania, en Sochi. No me salía la invitación, ahora sí, dicho. Sí, es que, ajá, es que como perdió la conexión, pero ahora ya. In group number four, we have Alexis, Cecilia, and Josué. Josué, are you available to participate? Ya está disponible para participar, Josué. Sí. Okay, Francisco Mejia, join your group, and Francisco González. Go to your groups, guys. Number 24. <laughs> El vato, el 38, 38, 38, ok. Yes. Entonces, en la 38, ahí nos da la indicación, ¿verdad? Roll a chit chat, uh, role play a chit chat conversation about the temporary activities you and two other colleagues are doing these days. ¿Sí? Entonces, un yes. ejemplo es profundizar en la que trabajaron ayer. Ok. Okay. Eh, Josué, okay. no sé si ya Josué está disponible. Únicamente van a trabajar Cecilia y Alexis. Uh -huh. Ok, begin working, please. Ok, Cecilia. Que, que trabajé sola, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. yo era vet en la conversación anterior y le cambié un par de cosas para dejarle como un poco de sentido común a la conversación. Uh -huh. Y... Okay. Hello, Ever. What are you... ¿Cómo es? Hello, Ever. What are you doing? Hello, Ever. Hola, Hola, Ever. ¿Qué haces en estos días? ¿Qué haces en estos días? Ya de allí... 
ahí podemos meterle algo de las actividades. Bueno, por lo menos, ¿cuál vamos a elegir? Ya de ahí aquí es que vamos a, a cambiarle. Sí, yo te digo paintball. Hola, está, están claras las instrucciones. Sí. Sí, sí. No. Así que, que vamos a elaborar una conversación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, correcto. Tomando de base la número 37. Correcto. Profundizar, pero la conversación puede ser entre tres personas ahora. Porque la indicación dice con ajá. otros dos compañeros más, tú y otros dos compañeros. Entonces, no, en ajá. este, ajá, los tres están Francisco, Sarita y Fanny. Y Fanny. Sí puede participar en este momento, Fanny. Ah, ok. Vaya, entonces asignenle un rol a ella. Y okay. que nos comparta uh -huh. una de las actividades que probablemente van a, a tener en su, en su compañía, Fanny. Ok, ok, muy bien. Bueno, entonces creo que aquí no hay problema, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, bye, bye, porque Gracias. me necesitan el grupo 3. Sí, bye. Sí. Gracias. Hello, class, how may I help you? Ya, yeah, um, tenemos varias preguntas, Miss. Ok, Miss. Pasado, en la conversación de ayer, que hicimos cambios. Eh, para adaptarlo, ¿verdad? Como uh -huh. a la uno de la compañía. Quería entender porque le estaba comentando aquí a los compañeros que aquí ya está empezando a llover, entonces me quedó la pantalla congelada y de repente ya vi la invitación a Zoom. Entonces, uh -huh. este, quiero entender bien la actividad. Ok, acá está la instrucción, ¿verdad? Acá tenemos la instrucción. Ahí. Is it? Acá está la instrucción el número 4. Your turn. Role play a chit chat conversation about the temporary activities you and two other colleagues are doing these days. Nada más que la conversación de ayer era en, con dos personas y la de ahora es tres personas. ¿Sí? Y acá okay. cuántas personas están disponibles. Entonces cuatro. puede... Ah, cuatro, perfecto. Entonces puede ser entre cuatro. O lo a, trabajan dos y dos, ¿verdad? Y le agregan acá algunas más actividades que están realizando en estos días. Si las tienen, por ejemplo, a uh, Celebrating the Father's Day, de um, alguna otra actividad. Y si no, agregan algunas de las que hemos estado practicando esta noche, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, porque sí. nosotros solo una actividad tenemos, mis. Ah, vaya, entonces agreguen de las que hemos estado trabajando esta noche de los párrafos. Sí, de acuerdo. Entonces, mi pregunta es, chicos, ¿are you going to work in pairs or in a group of four? Porque entonces tendrían que hacer más larga la conversación para que mm. participen los cuatro. Si no, hacen dos. Digamos, Erika Xochitl, Tania y Francisco Ernesto, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Y amplían sí, sí, lo sí. que ya tienen, ¿de acuerdo? Me voy a quedar de oyente un momento si usan a darlo de tres. De actividad de, de, en la empresa, en cualquiera de una de las empresas donde nosotros trabajamos. O sea, okay. que tenemos que incluir una actividad. Ah, ya sé de... que voy a poner, solo le voy a agregar eso, lo que yo le dije. <risa> No, pero es que si, si es de agregar eh, entre esas, bueno, entre esas cuatro y otras más, eh, lo, lo mejor sería empezar de cero porque no, no nos, o sea, no nos funciona el, 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 la conversación como tal. Bueno, Tenemos que a a ver, por ejemplo, pero tendría que ser de, de dice, I am working on a new project, o sea, ahí podríamos meter la actividad. En vez de working, va a ser... Eh, la actividad que se está desarrollando, ya sea la celebra. Vaya, la que dije yo, ¿cuál era la de... Eh, en my own... Dijiste, my, my whole company will have a score by government. Ah, ok, eso utilicemos. La primera de, de, de Ever sería uh, I'm okay 
Well, uh, at my company, yes. No tengo esa, esa oración. Okay, sería I'm okay. Well, in, in my company, I have a sport day. Ajá, correcto. Sí. Okay. In my company, estamos hablando de la compañía. Sí, sí. Uh, you, say, you say, um, I'm having a sports day. These days, these days, en estos días vamos a tener, ¿ok? These days. Well, we are having. Uh, sport day. Okay. Okay. Lo demás seguiría su curso, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. And how about you? ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Y de ahí, Beth, ¿qué contestaría? That's on great. What a coincidence. Ay, ¿Qué otra actividad habíamos platicado que tenían en las empresas? Ah, no, porque mira, cuando dice que es una coincidencia, entonces ahí está diciendo que sí, ellos también tienen un día igual. Uh -huh. Porque Ever dice que está trabajando en un nuevo proyecto que es eh, tomar un curso de inglés. Entonces ella le ah, dice... Ah, okay. entonces solo pongamos, that sounds great. Eh, y... Um... ¿Qué otra actividad en, 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 su, en su compañía? ¿Qué puede ser? Ay, la celebración de cumpleaños. ¿Cómo sería? That's on great. I, I have a... We are, celebra we, are, we are celebrating a birthday day. Yes. Okay. Ahora, ever sería. Podemos poner. Yo puedo poner. Podemos poner that son interesting. Um, La vamos a escribir en el solo, ¿verdad? Son in, uh, that son interesting. Everyone attends birthday. Como que suena interesante. Todos van a los cumpleaños. ¿Qué sería yo contestando, Teo? Sí. Uh -huh. eh, contestaría. Ahí. Ajá, y de ahí tú. Diría... Genial school. ¿Qué me contestarías tú? Pero no estoy pensando. Vaya. Tú me dijiste vaya, que si todos iban a... Todos asisten a... a Ajá, a yo, te, yo te contestaba. That's so great. That's so interesting. Everyone attend birthday. Uh -huh. Yo te contestaría yes. Yeah, sí, sí. Sí. Um, Uh, ahí sería yes they do yes they do Ajá. yes they do respuesta corta yes they do 
Sí, respuesta corta, pero para agregarle más texto, me ah, estaba pensando que más. Uh -huh. uh, uh, probably uh, people get the, get excited about birthdays. Probably. La gente se emociona con los cumpleaños. People get excited with birthdays. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, father dies en o, o no sé algo así que se mueran las ideas eh, algo más Dani? ayúdeme la mm. Francis Pampani hay en qué el de presente qué dice el tema que vamos a presentar, no sé qué tema vamos a utilizar. Pero es que lo, lo siento bien fuera de contexto, porque... Está bien, está bien, yo los escucho. Ok. Erika, continúas. Hola, Erika. Erika, Ay, perdón, yo... tenía mute, tenía mute okay. y estaba hablando. <ríe> Sería otra actividad de la que ya mencioné. Oh. <ríe> Sería Porque como el... había <ríe> qué coincidencia que estemos trabajando uh -huh. en celebraciones para nuestro team. Ahí te incluyes tú uh -huh. como una frase de afirmación por lo que estamos trabajando ahorita. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sería... That sounds great. Ok. Después continúa Francisco. Siempre de, 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 de confirmación porque estamos... Sí, de oh, confirmación sí. porque estamos, ajá, estamos confirmando de lo que estamos... Eh, organizando organizando sería permítame quiero ver cómo me voy a colocar ok You are right, no, no aplicaría, ¿verdad? Uh, no. no, 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 no sería así. Pero ahorita podemos practicar hasta donde estamos, hasta donde Erika, para Bye. que escuche a mí cómo vamos. Ok, inicio. Hi, Erika en Francisco. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Sachil. What are you doing these days? Hello, Sachil. I am great. I am organizing celebration Father's Day. And yours? In my case, I am working on a celebrate birthdays the months May with my co-workers, co-workers, and you, Francisco? Uh, organization, celebration, Mother Day. What a coincidence that we are organizing celebration for, for our thing. That sounds great. Okay, ya está ahí nos hemos quedado mis. <laughs> <laughs> It is good, okay? Continue. Very well. Okay, thank you. Muy bien. Nos quedamos con Francisco. Vaya, aquí um, ya 
eh, Erika ya afirmó, ¿verdad? Es, esto es genial. Ahora sí. tendría que ser como tú, eh, ¿qué fecha? Algo así como, ¿qué fechas han planeado realizar la celebración? Un ejemplo. Okay. ¿Qué día? Eh, no, ¿qué fechas? ¿Qué fechas? Amanda. Porque, do, por ejemplo, el día de la, de la madre, pues el 10, pero podemos celebrarlo sí, sí, el 30. Ser, no, 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 ajá, no, porque no, no importa, no, 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 una fecha especial que podamos celebrar con la mamá. ¿verdad? Entonces sería una, una forma de que introduzcas las fechas en que vamos a celebrar, por ejemplo, un ejemplo. Por ejemplo, en el caso del Día de las Madres, Erika, los compañeros del mes, y en mi parte. De mi hermana, my sister, pongamos, de mi hermana le pongo. Ajá, ¿Sí? usted se lo diría, nice to meet you too, y bueno, y, y Sarita entra y dice, let me tell you, we are organized a baby shower about my sister, and I know you can... Help me, or help. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, that my dear, you that what are organized a baby show. Are organized. Did you finish the creation of the conversation class? Terminaron la conversación, chicos. Hola. Somebody here. Hello, hello, I'm sorry. Hello. Sí, Alexi, ya terminaron la conversación. Yes, teacher. Only Cecilia and me. Solo ustedes and dos I... y Oscar no participó. No, lo llamé pero no me contestó no sé. ah, probablemente tiene problemas con el Inter porque en algunos lugares está lloviendo bien fuerte okay. eh, me gustaría escuchar la conversación de ustedes dos chicos Ceci, are you available? las la, los seis los seis llaman temporal no, la conversación que tenían que crear la conversación que crearon ahora incluyendo a uh, más eventos eso era lo que tenían que trabajar no, no creamos la conversación only rides no, es que, es que ahí no hemos llegado estábamos en el número 4 your turn, acá todavía no estamos entonces tienen que crear la conversación agregando más actividades de okay, las reales de su, de su compañía o pueden agregar algunas de las que estuvimos leyendo en los párrafos, ¿sí? Porque son temporary activities, ¿ya? Entonces entendimos mal. Pero ok. Ahorita la, acá okay. Ahorita la, ahorita la creamos. Ok, great. Hola, hola Cecilia. Hola, hola. Pues, y la siguiente parte sería de la suya va. Yo, solo, es que... yo solo sería solo yo solo le diría it will a pleasure yo le voy a preguntar you can help us y usted me va a responder it will a pleasure entonces eh, Sarita le va a preguntar can you can you help us can you help us ajá y le contesta Francisco my pleasure con gusto no, sería yo. Ah, pues quien conteste ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se, cómo se deletrea esa, esa palabra? Permítame, permítame que le estoy dando ingreso a, a esta niña que no sé en cuál grupo estaba. La vamos a enviar al tres. Ok. Pleasure. Creo, creo. Pleasure. Acá se la comparto en este ¿Cómo, momento. ¿Cómo se dice? Con gusto. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Igual pleasure. Acá, no, eso no existe en inglés. With pleasure, no. My pleasure. Which? No, no, señor. Si no, usted pleasure. está queriendo, usted está queriendo hablar español en inglés. Entonces, uh -huh. Esa estructura es my pleasure, quiere decir con gusto. 
Pero todavía me faltan las dos de ustedes y me quedé, por eso me quedé en Baby Chao, como me perdí en esa parte. Vaya, vamos apurándole que ya casi es la hora, ¿verdad? De que presentemos en el Main Session Room. Ok. okay, okay. No, Bye. si quieres, después, de, después del Baby Chao solo era you can, you can Help Me. You Can Help Me, pero ¿qué decía? Al final... Este, cuando se diga eso, decimos, ok, bye, bye. Finish. Sí, no Ajá, bye, bye, correcto. Bye, bye. Uh -huh. Ok, permíteme, solo voy a eh, finalizarlo aquí. Ok. E inicio, permítame. Ok, vaya, voy a eh, iniciar. A ver, como ya quedó finalizado. Hi, Erika and Francisco. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Sachil. What are you doing these days? Hello, Sachil, Erika. What are, you, what are you doing these days? I am great. I am organizing celebration Father's Day. And you? I am working on the celebrate birthday the month May with my co-workers. And you, Francisco? I am organizing a celebration Mother's Day. What a coincidence that we are organizing celebration for our team. That sounds great. Excellent. And what day will you be holding the celebration? In my case, 17 June. In my case, I will do it at the end of the month, exactly on 31 May. May 31st. May 31st. May 31st. June. Eh, ¿Cuánto de junio dijo Xochitl? 17. John 17. John 17. Primero se lee oh, el mes right. y luego el, la fecha. John 17. Ok, okay continúe. Thank, Thank you, Miss. Ok, okay. continúe. Ok. Um, después voy yo. Sí. Ok. Uh, we, eso sería, ¿verdad? Sí, para cerrar. Okay. Muy bien. No, ¿y tu fecha? Ah, perdón. Eh, mm, Francisco. Es que, sí, es que yo pregunté, ¿verdad? Entonces la mía es... Eh, 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 um, finish. Eh, ¿Cómo sería a finales del mes de mayo? Finish. At the end of May. At the end of May. Uh, the end. end. At, end. At, at end. the end of at May. End. At, at the end. end. At the at end of end. May. At the end of May. Okay. Uh, we already already have a schedule. What we we will do in this day. We will see each other share experience. 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 Okay. Yeah. At the end of May, we have at the end of May like this. Al final de mayo, a lo, al, los días finales de mayo, at the end of May. So you finish. Hey, congratulations, class. You did it. Okay, now uh, we're going to return so we can share. Okay, vamos a compartir. And here we go. Let's get back. Get ready to uh, share with the class in the main session room. In 40 seconds, everybody must be back. Okay, but before, 
you share, I'm going to take your second attendance because I didn't want to interrupt your work in the groups creating the conversation. Ready, Eliel, to read your conversation? Hello, Eliel. Eliel, are you active? Are you there? Yes, you are there. I can see that you move, Eliel. Sí. <laughs> Now no, you are que... active. Ando bastante lento el internet, entonces oh, a veces that's why. Uh -huh. me importa. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, class, uh -huh. listen, I'm going to call your names in order to take your second attendance. Brandon Alexis. Here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Cecilia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, is, uh, Daniel Eduardo is absent. Diana. Erika Lisette. Present teacher. Thank you. Fanny. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's move towards Fatima. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Correa Jimede. Present miss. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto González Boquín. Present teacher. Thanks, Frank. Uh, Jocelyn. Present teacher. Thank you. Eliel Jonathan. Present teacher. Jose Francisco Mejía. Jose Francisco Mejía. As a listener, he says he's here as a listener. Josué Isaac. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Josue. Luis is absent. Mayra. Mayra didn't get connected today. Oscar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Pablo. Present Here. Teacher. Sarita. Present, Miss. Tania, Miss Tania. Present teacher. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús. Yeah, she's here. Sochil. Present, Miss. Tulio. Present, Miss. Okay, still sick. Now, class, um, we are going to listen to some of you with your conversations. Ready? Okay, volunteers, or do you want me to? Uh -huh. Sochil, is your group ready to present in front of the class? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. Be let's begin with Sochil's group and Francisco Ernesto, okay? Begin, please. Okay. Hi, Erika and Francisco. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Sochil and Francisco. What are you doing these days? Hello, Sochil and Erika. What are you doing these days? I am great. I am organizing celebration for the day, and you? I am working on a celebrate birthdays the month's May with my coworkers. And you, Francisco? Uh, organizing celebration Mother Day. Okay, Francisco. Okay, thank you so much. That's it, so chill, yes. Uh, yes. No. Okay, continue. Continue, Francisco. Yeah, okay. Organize and celebrate on Mother's Day. What a, what a coincidence that we are organizing celebration or, or, or thing. That sounds great. Excellent. On what this uh, day a world you be holding the celebration? In my case, 
June 17th. In my case, I will do it at the end of the May, exactly on May 31st. At the end of May. It's excellent. We already have a schedule. What we will do in this day, we will see each other stay experience. Okay, we will okay. see each other's experience. Excellent, great, congrats. Now, uh, maybe Eliel's group, would you like to share? Los leídos son Pablo y Fátima. Okay, Fátima and Pablo. Okay. Hi, Pablo. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Fatima. Where are you going today? I am okay. Well, we are having a sport day these days. How are you? That sounds great. We are having the birthday celebration. Uh, oh, excellent. That everyone participate? Yes, the co-worker like the person. Okay, great, Pablo. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Excellent. conversation, teacher. <laughs> yeah, congrats. Very well. Precisely well conceded, teacher. Yeah, objective. <laughs> now, the next team, uh, maybe... Let me see, Francisco, Ineve, your group is ready? Ready, miss. Okay, go for it. Ready. Okay. Um, hi, Francisco. Lance, I mean, you see, how are you? Hello, Sarita. What are you doing this day? I am fine. I am working in the Salvadoran English School. Let me introduce you to my friend. Hello, Francisco. I'm Fanny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Fanny. Let me tell you organizing baby showers with my sister. You can help us, Francisco. My pleasure. <laughs> Finish, Miss. Okay, work on size than, than uh, Pablo's conversation. Short, <laughs> short, and short. Win sip. Uh, and now let's see if Alexis' group is ready. Hello, Alexis' group. Hello, Are teacher. you ready? Are you ready? No, no pudimos terminar, pero podemos. Ajá. Okay. Only Cecilia and you. Okay, Ceci and you. Please. Say what you have. Lean lo que tengan. If Cecilia is available. Cecilia, are you here? No, she's not. No, no está por acá, Cecilia. La visualizan, chicos. Cecilia, hello. No, she's not. Just in the correct moment. Ya se desconectó. Ajá. Ok, listen. Uh, I'm going to ask Miss Fatima if she can stay with me after class. Miss Fatima, would you give me a moment after class? ¿Me puedes regalar unos minutos después de la clase, Miss Fatima? Teacher, tomorrow because I have a lot of eh, tareas con mi hija. Y... Mañana. Con gusto. Bueno, entonces le voy a tener que pedir a... Quiero ver... Porque sí, como ya vamos casi terminando, usted está pendiente... Francisco Ernesto González. ¿Dónde está Francisco? Yes, teacher. Ok, puede quedarse unos minutitos conmigo. Sí. sí. Ok, eh, les voy a asignar la tarea para mañana, chicos. Pero presten atención porque ustedes hacen otra actividad. <risa> Vean, okay. la actividad para mañana es esta. Write a six-line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Van a escribir un párrafo corto de seis líneas eh, describiendo eventos temporales en su lugar de trabajo. No es lista, no. Es 
eh, escriben un evento, punto, siguen con el otro evento, punto, y así sucesivamente, pero en oración. These days we are having the uh, birthdays celebration, period. Uh, we are organizing the Father's Day celebration, period. Uh, these days we are celebrating the, mm, the Mother's Day a celebration for the for the mothers only for the mothers solo para las mamás porque en algunas compañías celebran el día de la mamá pero solo incluyen a las mamás no a todas las mujeres porque no todas tienen hijos sí eso sucede en algunas compañías de acuerdo no para todas sino que solamente quienes son mamás quienes tienen hijos ok is that ok so Miss, thank you eh, con fecha sí, o solo así. Con no, fecha o solo si así. Si tiene fecha, mejor. Si no, solamente mm -hmm. lo menciona. Porque como dice, these days es en estos días. Pero si va a escribir la fecha, to be more exact, para ser más exacto, y ya explica, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Thank you very much for joining. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Sleep tight. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Only Francisco Ernesto González Boquín stays with the teacher. Bye bye. Have a good night. Only Francisco bye Ernesto. Bye. bye bye. Take care. See you. Bye bye. Bye teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you for joining to the class. You have a very productive class. Bye, Francisco y Mary. Bye bye. Bye, Jose. Miss. Bye, Miss. Okay. Bye bye, Diana. Okay, Francisco Ernesto, here we go. Okay, Mr. Francisco Ernesto González. Okay. Ay, tengo los dos Francisco y tengo José tres. Bajo la asesoría para tres. Okay, vamos a practicar esta conversación, Francisco Ernesto, okay? Okay. Here okay. we go. Uh, you are ever and I am Beth. You begin. Comienza usted, Francisco. Hi, Beth. Long time, and you see, how are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am, okay, well, I am working on a new project. And also, also, I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. I colleague who complete the course is taking a training in England this day. Okay. And Uh, you're right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have a better results. Great. Well, I am doing blistering exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Repeat after me, Francisco. Colleague. Colleague. Completed. Completed. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Doing, doing, okay? Doing. Very well, so not a big deal. Now here, Rita and Luis. I am Rita, you are Luis. Begin. Okay. And I begin because I am Rita. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the AT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the red room. Rita, by the way, when are the material arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Now we are going to um we are going to switch. You begin and I continue, okay? Usted inicia, Francisco. Ah, uh, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey Rita, sure, tell me. 
I want to know where, who, who are attending the annual conference this year and where is uh, taking is place. It, where is it? Uh, where is it? And where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Get it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, so I know. Here we have arriving. Please repeat after me. Arriving. Arriving. Got it. Got it. They are arriving on Friday morning. They I they, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, great. Now here. We're going to read these four paragraphs, okay? okay. I read first and later you read. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain, function and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Now you read paragraph one. Uh, paragraph one, organize yoga, yoga class. If you work in an office and your employer are sitting on a computer every day, don't understand my under, underestimate, underestimate, underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude um, and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate uh, stress, calm relax tension, improve brain function, and light moon. What boss will wouldn't want, wouldn't wouldn't want one mm -hmm. boss wouldn't want to say. Out, ahí la última palabra como outcomes, outcomes. Outcomes. outcomes no outcomes outcomes ok now please repeat after me celebrate birthdays celebrate birthdays you don't just have to rely on business games you don't just have to rely on business games rely on rely on to boost morale. To boost morale. Simply acknowledging. Simply acknowledging. Special occasions. A special occasion. Can have a big impact. Can have it a big impact. It shows your team. It shows your team. That you care about them. That you care about them. As people. As people. Not just as employees. Not just as employees. Get everyone. Get everyone. To sign a card. To sign a card. Have cake once a month. Have cake, have, have cake once a month. Or simply buy them. Or simply buy them. A round of coffee. Of coffees. A, a round of coffee. Each time someone. Each time someone. In your team. In your team. Has a birthday. Has a birthday. Right. Paint, paintball. Paintball. Give your employees. Give your employees. An opportunity. An opportunity. To let off. To let off. Some steam. Some steam. By organizing. By organizing. A day of paintball. A day of paper. 
simply getting simply getting simply getting out of the office simply getting uh, out of the office can work wonders can work wonders for staff morale for staff morale watch out though what i would go as the boss as the boss you're going to be a prime target you're going to be a prime target guess who guess who ask everyone ask everyone to bring a childhood photo to bring a childhood photo childhood photo childhood photo of themselves on themselves and put them and put them all up all up on a board on a board and then and then get everyone get everyone to put their best guesses to put their best guesses forward forward on each one on each one it's a bit of easy it's a bit of easy light-hearted light-hearted fun fun that will that will definitely definitely help lift spirits help lift spirits while offering while offering plenty of humor plenty of humor along the way along the way very well okay great now we have this conversation between rose and mary i uh, i read mary uh, rose and you read mary okay one two three uh, begin in, in uh, this is at page 33. 33. Okay, 33. You begin. You read Rose and I read Mary. Uh, hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. What about, and you? <laughs> Text. Okay, I am talking to colleagues and checking report. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Uh, Peter is. Okay, uh, repeat after me this word, okay? Let's see. Colleagues. Colleagues. Okay, colleagues. Colleagues. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, Francisco, thank you for giving me this extra time in order to practice uh, reading, okay? Have a good thank night. Uh, Francisco, vamos bien en la plataforma. Sí, ya finalicé el examen. El ah, okay, okay, muy bien. Then, thank you so very much. Have a great night and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Have a bye, good bye. night. Bye-bye. Take care.